Well, welcome to the first Aggie Athlete Spotlight Profile of the Week on Chip Howard Sports Talk. I'm your host for the show, Stephen Rhodes, and I'm really excited because I've got the three-peat national champion, Jessica Beard, with me for the first uh, profile. How are you doing, Jessica? Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. I'm doing pretty good. How does it feel to help your team uh, win an- another national championship? Uh, I think it's the best feeling in the world, just knowing that, you know, you have so many people who want the same thing that you want, the same type of goals and accomplishments, and people who work just as hard as you, and you just see all the hard work and everything that we do in practice and all the things that our coach tells us to do, it, it's just coming to the light, and it, it shows in our performance. So, Isn't, Didn't you say that was one of the reasons why you came here in the first place, too? Yeah, just the environment. I just really kind of, you know, it kind of welcomed me some, and... I just wanted to excel and not, like I said, it's people around me who want the same thing and you can't really beat that. Somebody who has that kind of mentality that wants a championship just as much as you do and will work just as hard just to get it. You know, they don't just want to be a part of it. They want to actually achieve the goal of, you know, working hard, you know, lactic build up at practice, but in the meet, you know, put it all on the line. So. Well, that's definitely an Aggie spirit. We'll get more to talk about track, but the whole whole profile. Okay, we want to do some fun stuff and some okay. serious stuff. So okay. I'm gonna ask you first. Um, it says on your on your Aggie Athletics profile, okay. your birthday is January seventh and January eighth. <laughs> which one is it? My birthday is January eighth. Uh, okay, because my birthday is January seventh. <laughs> What? And then I had to scroll down. Wait, wait, which one is it? Yeah, that's what my mom said. Do you know what's up? That you're born on the seventh? Do you know that you were born on the eighth? I was like, we've celebrated on the eighth for 22 years. I hope that it would be on the eighth and not on the seventh. So. Okay, I was just wondering that. So if anyone else is wondering that, that's that's the answer right there. Um, okay, so you're from Ohio. Yeah. Obviously. How often have you been able to go back and visit? Has it been like every summer, part of summer? And uh, how much do you miss? I try to get back to Euclid every summer if I can, if possible. Last year was my first summer off since like 11th grade, and so um, I was there the whole summer just loving it. It's not as hot, which I love. I can appreciate that. You know, (laughs) 70s feel great to me. I don't need 100 degree weather all the time, but um, I really do miss home. The food is so much different. You know, the environments are different. Just like when I came here, I was saying pop, and people like. I don't know what that is. And they're like, oh, Coke, oh, soda. So then I was like, oh, that's weird. Y'all are weird. Y'all calling it strange things. It's called pop. So I don't know. I kind of, you know, miss it. My friends, you know, I, I came so far from home. But um, at the same time, that's what Facebook is for, you know. That's what Twitter is for. My friends are following me. My friends are on my Facebook, you know, keeping up. Skype. Yeah, Skype, all those things. So, of course, I miss home. But at the same time, this is also my home. Yeah, that's cool. Um, also, I saw you were born in Cleveland. So, mm-hmm. were you a LeBron fan, or were you excited to see him lose in the national and in the, the NBA championship? I'm not a LeBron hater at all. Uh, I feel like you know maybe the way that he handled things, I didn't really like yeah, that. Like, yeah. oh, how he hated Cleveland when he was growing up and things like that. But I don't. I would never want to see somebody you know yeah. lose like that, especially somebody who has so much talent. I feel like if the shoes on the other foot, that's just like people were saying they wouldn't want us to win, and I would <laughs> hate that. So um, it's kind of unfortunate because I'm kind of like an Ohio person. Like, if you're from Ohio, then we we all have the same cause. We're all trying to you know uplift right. our state, and so it was kind of to me disappointing just because that's the you know, a big reason that he went there and they had so much talent, but uh, just wasn't his time. And I know a lot about that. So he's, <laughs> yeah. he has, I mean, it's not like he's like 30 or something and he, you know, he has years left. So I wasn't, I have so many Dallas people like, oh, are you cheering for Dallas? <laughs> I was like, well, my team is out. Celtics are out. So, you know, hey, whoever plays the best, I feel like they deserve it. So kind of sad to hear the way that things happen just because so many people I kind of wanted to see LeBron overcome you know all the adversity and to be like booyah but it didn't happen so maybe next time. You weren't part of the cast for the Mavs then. (laughs) No. (laughs) All right um let's see major you're major in psychology. Yeah. Is that something you want to do after all the track stuff is done or is like a backup plan you know because you know you got to get your degree. I definitely want to pursue um 
child psychology, like guidance counseling, working in the school system. Um, my coaches told me I had a gift f for working with children. I did summer camp, so if I could coach and, you know, kind of counsel and guide kids, then I think that would be, like, ideal. But I have to go to grad school, and yeah. I just I just know how competitive the field is, you know. I can't just say, oh, you know what, I'm going to Europe for a week, you know, see y'all later. <laughs> and so um, yeah. just knowing that I can always come back to that and having my degree and, you know, getting in in December and being able to go to grad school later and hope I'll save up enough money from all these endeavors and just pay for it later, so. Okay, that's, that's a cool plan. Um, here's just some rapid fire stuff. Okay. Who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete. Oh, it's so hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I I would have to say, I I wouldn't pick somebody from our air. Uh, somebody who's probably like originated, especially like in track and field. Anyway, I'm a big Jesse Owens fan. Just you know, he he's not from Ohio, but that's where he grew up from. You know, and um, his accomplishments at the Olympics. You know, four med gold medals, and I mean that's just awesome. I mean, it's other people that I would look up to like you know like Sonya and Allison but if I had to pick one person it out instantly popped in my head Jesse Owens mom and Ali like so those are <laughs> yeah. that's automatically popped up so Here's some, these are going to be kind of tough to choose too. okay uh favorite food cheesecake okay that's <laughs> <laughs> favorite tv show oh my goodness that's so hard um if I had to go from right now big law and order svu big Olivia fan. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite movie? Oh, goodness. Love Jones. Okay. Uh, and favorite musician? Musician. Ooh, Kenny G. Big Kenny G fan. Okay. I've heard it both ways from people on track. Do you like to run? <laughs> I like to run when there's competitions. Um, yeah. Outside of that, I actually like long runs. Like all last summer, yeah. my first summer off. I was up 28-18 and back down Luther West and, you know, running for 20 minutes. It kind of, it's kind of, especially listening to music, it's kind of like a stress reliever, like, or if you just want to release, I don't know, some good energy, I like doing that. Other than that, like, if I'm late for class, I don't know if I'll run there. Like, I might just be late uh, outside of those things. And not in 100, oh, 100 plus degrees. Oh, definitely not. You know, I'm... I'll take the elevator before I take the stairs. I feel like I do all my workout in practice, so I should take it easy the rest of the day, so. Gotcha, <laughs> okay. Something I just saw today, mm -hmm. and just tell about how this feels, being only the third female in NCAA history to sweep all four NCAA 400 meter and 400 by four yeah. meter relays races in one year. And I think that's outdoor and indoor, right? Yes. Yeah. How does that feel just to be, I mean, it's just an incredible accomplishment. Um, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I just found out today as well, so we're on the same page. But knowing who the athletes were and just, you know, remembering that so many people, they had a big impact on. And so for me, knowing that I'm in a category with people like them, I just feel blessed, really. I'm just excited about it. I didn't see who the other two were, did Um, what did Mr. Price tell me? One of them went to Texas. Um, Texas, Texas, Texas. I can't remember the first one. Do you know who the two other, it was, uh, Suzanne Reed. Suzanne Texas. Reed went to Texas. Teacher Harris. Was okay. So, I, That's looking not. in the book, if you look at the Big 12 and you look at champions and stuff, you'll see like Suzanne, Suzanne, Suzanne. That's what I saw when I looked in it. And so like immediately when he told me, I was like, wow, that's what popped up. And I was like, that's really an amazing accomplishment. Uh, another one, I saw you were nominated for the Honda Spirit okay. Award for track and field. Okay. And that's, you're in the top top five, top four for that. Okay. And um, just, what can you say about bringing bring that sort of award because it, it helps out you and it helps out the school as well. Like I said, just another exciting thing to learn about and anything that can just help bring light to Texas A&M and I mean we've done it on the national stage but to know that you know the little things are going to be taken care of and you know people are looking at you know not only you know the feats that our team has done but also like the individuals and the hard work so it just really makes me happy to know that people are recognizing just you know the things I do and the things I do for my team and um, I saw that 
like Lisa Knoll and one other track person, uh, Colorado Behringer, were people who have received it, and I just remember them, oh, yeah. and their feats were awesome, like, you know, just watching them double up and break American records and stuff, so just to be in a category with women like them is just an amazing accomplishment for me. Well, congratulations. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully you'll win that. Now, just real quick, uh, tell okay. me what's coming up for you. I know you've got, it's June 23rd to 26th, you got yeah. the, the USA's. US, yeah, and... Um, you get that coming up. You're training for that this week, right? Yeah. Yes. And do you know when the Olympic trials are? Are they next year? They're next year. This year is World Championship year, which will be in Daegu, South Korea. Uh, so that's what these trials will be for. And then um, next June will be the Olympic trials. And so uh, I'm just really trying to take it one step at a time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you were in the 2006 Junior Olympics, yeah. right? And you won a, a gold there? Um, yeah, in 2006, I was a junior in high in high school, and we went to uh, Beijing that year, and we were kind of like the tester team for the Olympic team, and it was like, well, how was the air, and how was this, this, and that? So to win a 4 by 4 gold medal there, that's my first ever world junior team ever going out the country, really, and so right. um, that was just a great experience as well. Do you have anything else coming up? Um, not, after, not that I know of at the <laughs> time. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be in Europe sometime over the summer, but... I don't know yet. Boy, yeah, nice, nice break, maybe. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I like the food. <laughs> I love to eat, so. Yeah. <laughs> hope we love cheesecake. I know. Well, I can't I, eat it. Thank you for taking out the time, and I look forward to seeing you in the seeing you and everything you got coming up. Thank you very thank much. You. Yeah.